the east india company was no doubt a business establishment it came to trade in india as a company as a trading entity but later on it became a ruling entity it had a private military of its own it was directly supported by the british government of the time british mps the british ruling class in britain were directly involved in the profits of this company in fact 24% of the shares of this company at times at different times the the amount fluctuated of course but in the 18th century in the late 18th century late 1700s 24% of the shares of this company were owned by british mps 